and in this video, I will be showing you my project, which is to build a parabolic solar cooker. The idea is to concentrate enough solar light at a focal point to cook food. In this project, I will be using a lot of power tools. These tools are very dangerous to work with. I highly recommend an adult using them or to be fully trained and also being supervised by an adult. Our starting point is to make a parabolic reflective surface to concentrate sunlight. So I will be using a satellite dish and converting it into a reflective mirror. So I hope you enjoy my project. Hi again. So I used a older new dish, it doesn't really matter. And I got it off of the internet for $5. So first I disassembled the useless electronics. And then I um, disassembled the base. Um, I used regular tools, simple tools. And I also kept the screws in a box because I might use them later on. So first, um, what I'm going to do is remove the paint and basically sand the whole dish to make it really, really smooth. So, to next up. Hello again. So, um, I'm going to use um, a pond sander with 120 grits. So, I'm going to basically remove the paint of the dish. And at the very end, I'm going to use um, 1,000 grits to basically make it really smooth and to make it fine. So, let's start. So after I use the palm sand um, with the 120 grits, so um, I finished sanding it and then while washing it, I used the 1000 grits to make it really smooth, like it really does feel smooth and I can't feel anything, any wrinkles or anything. So now what I'm going to do is use gloss paint to add a coating to make it very even. So like for example, if I miss any spot, it won't be there. So what you're so first of all you need really need your mask because for safety it will hurt your throat and then while spraying you don't want to spray directly and close to it or far away and you don't want to spray like this it's basically a 45 degree angle and six inches away so let's start. Hello again. So now we have reached one of the most important steps in the project. So I got this in the mail today. So so this is a two inch chrome vinyl tape. And what we're going to use is, is basically place it on the dish to make it mirror-like and reflect the solar ray or light. So first, what I'm going to do is going to be practicing on like a plate. Um, it really is important to practice because you do not want to start um, at the beginning because you, cause the, you don't want any wrinkles or bubbles. So I'm going to start. So what you're going to do is you're going to leave a little bit of space after the part of the plate. You're going to leave a part outside about this much. Place it. You don't want to start from like over here, you want to start in the middle. And you can use like these from the kitchen or you can use your finger to make like so there are no bubbles. So 
So now after I was finished, um, basically it really does look mirror-like and very shiny. It reflects very, very good. And um, so now after this, we're going to basically do the same thing on the dish. So we were going to start from the middle and take it all the way to the other side. You're going to do the same thing with little overlap. And then it's going to be a lot of work, so let's get started. Hello, so now I will be talking about the base. So what I need the solar cooker to do is to move horizontally and vertically to align it towards the sun. So um, the, base, the dish base already provides the vertical movement, so I will be making a swivel base to make it move horizontally. So what I will start with is um, a wooden pallet. So, um, I got this on the internet for free um, because, well, basically I thought it was like really light and it had the perfect size, but it was really like dirty and it was broken, broken somewhere. So um, I thought of basically getting high wood and placing it on top to make another layer to make it look clean and nice. So after I do that, I'll use the Lazy Susan slide. I'll place it like in the middle. And it comes from like Home Depot or anywhere else. So I'll place it in the middle and then what I'll use is three quarter of an inch high wood. And you're gonna place it on top. And then also um, I got wheels to place it at the bottom to basically make the solar oven move easily. And you should also get um, a lock to, so you can stop it from moving. So let's get started. Hello again. So now I will be talking about the problems or issues you will be facing while making your swivel base. So first off, while you're placing the top part of your base, you will realize that it's really tight space and not reachable to actually place your screws. So there are actually many um, solutions. The one I'm using is basically, first of all, on your palette, you're going to mark an X from corner to corner and then on your swivel you can use thread or anything else to mark the center of your swivel and you're going to place both intersections on top of each other 
And then next what you're going to do is you're going to mark spots for the holes to, so we can drill it. So one, two, three, and four. And then next what you're going to do is you're going to drill the holes you made. And then after that, you're going to take the screws and place it in the bottom holes. These are the screws. Then what you're going to do is this is your top and you're going to place it. You're going to flip it over. And you're going to align. Also, I also made an X on the top one, and you're going to align both intersections with each other. And then and then you're going to actually um connect the swivel to the part of the top part. And then after that, you're going to mark a curve. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to move this and you're going to make a hole as big as your screwdriver and you're going to actually um, drill it. And then after that, you're going to basically flip it again and place it on top with aligned with the holes. It'll actually fall with yours. Okay, and then after that, you're going to move it until you can actually see the screw and you're going to use your screwdriver in the hole and you're going to actually fix it to the bottom part. So let's get started. 